Supermarine Spitfire Mark 1, 148 scale by Tamiya. All brand new sprue tooling. One instructions, colour call out which is in colour. One bag, two bags, three bags, glass. You get decals, photo etch, and masks. And this is a little bit of information on the airplane, but it's in Japan, unfortunately, so that's not good to anyone. Apart from if you can speak that language. <clears throat> Lovely bit of photo etch cockpit interior, seat belts, you're going to have to paint them a little bit because they're not coloured, it's not a coloured photo actually unfortunately. You've got radiator grills, um, what else is on there, wheel covers, um, these silver strips here are metal strips that go down the side of the plane. There's Tamir's decals. I thought there was a uh, chunk taken out of the decal, but it's not. There's a... Uh, excuse the compressor, sorry. Sorry about that, guys. That's compressor. Um, it's not a chunk taken out of the decal. It's There's a part on the wing that has to go over. And These uh, markings are in two parts because you have to fit them around a certain part of the body. They're pre-cut pre -cut for it, which is handy. Can anyone else understand why they don't put the red dots in the middle? Why um, to me I don't do that? Because trying to line them up, I find it really fiddly. You've got uh, yellow tips for the propellers, so I don't see the point of that either, because you just paint them on. Um, the red squares is for the front of the plane, to go over the guns. Again, just paint them on. I, I don't see the point of that. I've tried using them and they just look crap before. Um, yeah, but nicely in register, in colour. To me, the decals are always a little, little bit thick, in my uh, opinion. There's cockpit detail. This should go down okay. You get mask and some more decals, but this is like a thin metal. Top material. Oh no, sorry, it's not. It's like a, it is a decal. It is like goes on the side of the plane to mimic metal. Um, masks, these pre-cut. Unfortunately, no, these are not pre-cut. You have to cut these out yourself. Um, I know a lot of people are not a fan of these. I've never used their mask before. Um, I've, I've, I've done familiar kits before, but not all of their kits come with masks, and I just buy aftermarket masks. But I'll give them a go. If I can't do it, I'm going to have to buy aftermarket masks because I can't. I've tried putting them on and cutting them out, I can't do that. I find it too tricky. Here's the glass. I don't like their staples neither. Me a staple bags. Here's the glass. Nice, nice and clear. Gee, you can see through through the glass quite clearly. It's uh, distort a little bit, but it's only because of the bend. But it's, it's nice and clear. Back in the bag, then it's scratched up. You 
get two parts of cockpit, you can have it open or closed. And you've got a little bit to go on the front, which is the bulletproof sh shield. That's going to be quite tricky to put on it as well, without getting paint, well not paint, sorry, glue all over the... I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I might have to use Canopy um, Master Soul Crystal Clear for that, I might have to use that. Instructions in there. This bag. And I've got... Wings. Detailed pilot. You have to put the head on. It's fairly detailed. Too bad. This is a uh, strut for for the wings, and it's part of the undercarriage detailing. Um, we've got interior bulkheads, which is nicely detailed. The seat detailed. Wheels, one-piece wheels, which are okay. I've got some aftermarket ones that's lying around, so I might actually use them. Interior detail, oxygen, bottles, etc. There's only three main screws for this, isn't that awful lot? Wing, body, and interior, and that's it. Goes together fairly easy, it should do this bit. Should be no problems at all. The uh, fuselage body, nice panel lines, some rivets. I've seen Edouard kits and they've got more detail in this. I will show you I put a bit more detail in, but it's still good. I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad. It is really good still, but I have seen better. I believe, Ed, in my opinion, I think Edouard kits are one of the best out there. For the money and what you get with them is, is superb. I haven't come across a bad Edward, Edward kit yet at all. But the interior detail, nice. A few uh, pin marks, but they're, they're in locations which you don't got to worry about, which is handy. Got more copy detail. More, and there's another part of the copy detail. Should go together pretty well this kit. I'm looking forward to do this. I have got uh, three variants. Uh, sorry, three of these kits. I'm going to uh, do all, all three variants. I do like my Spitfires. There's the underside wing, nicely detailed, and rivets. The, the prop. Um, the propeller, instrument panel, like I say, um, you have to put decal on it because it hasn't got no detail. So you can't dry brush it, you're going to have to uh, put, you can use the decal or aftermarket it. Um, this is radiator, wings, nicely detailed, a little bit of marbling but nothing to worry about. There's detailing on the inside. For the fuselage and the cockpit bit, that's the floor. Inside the wheel well detail. Um, these round bits down here goes around the wheel arches. That's the body. And this giant colour pull out. This one here is the Battle of Britain. Version 1940, uh, number 610 Squadron Battle of Britain 1940, and you get two other markings on here. This side is 65 Squadron 1939 pre war, which is just, just before the war kicks off, basically. Um, I believe. This is because it's got a three bladed propeller, it shouldn't have, it should have a two. I'm, I'm positive they've got that wrong. I could be wrong though, but I'm sure the pre war planes only had two blip, uh, two prop propeller, not, not three. Um, number 19 Squadron from Dunkirk, uh, 1940. Um, the underside for this is silver, white, and black. 
and camouflage. Pre-war is camouflage and silver. And the Battle of Britain is camouflage with duck egg green. Is it duck egg green? No, oh, sorry, it's sky. Sky. Colour called sky. <clears throat> and that's, those, that's the colours. Instruction manual in English in Japan. Colour call outs. Information on the on the kit, how to use the decals. We're all model modelers, so we know how to do this anyway. Start off with the cockpit, typical Spitfire and World War Two planes. Left and right side to do. You got two type of bulkhead. You can uh, have the door open or closed because, like I said before, you can have the canopy open as well. Oxygen tanks going in, detailing. The floor, photo etch, um, foot pop redders, rather pedals. Um, what is that there? Oh, that's the compass. Sorry, yep, yeah, got to put the compass together. Um, number six is firewall and instrument panel. Putting the instrument panel uh, floor together and flight stick, seat going in, seat belts, bulkhead, more seat belts. You've got different type of seat belts, it all depends on how you want to do it. Because if you've got the pilot in, you have to have the smaller seat belts that sit on your shoulders. And if you've got no pilot, you have to use the ones that go all the way down. Putting the cockpit together and fuselage is two halves. Put in exhaust on I'll do that last anyway you got to paint them part of the nose cone going on tail wings and ailerons they're one piece unfortunately so you can't put them in at any display or any angles unfortunately put in the wings together make sure you paint in the inside of the wheel arches and the cockpit floor the wheel arches got to be put together. Make sure it's all glued up and the wing strut and undercarriage. Put the wings together. You can ailerons, rudders. You can actually might, might be able to pose them with a bit of modification. Snapping the body and fuselage to the wings. Snap it from underneath and push up. Which is pretty cool. I'm just showing you how you do that. Radiator going on, both sides, big one and small one, line up the wheels, you can't have it in flight mode I've noticed, it can only be displayed with the wheels down, probably a bit, again, modification, you can probably do it. Um, another radiator going on, getting the cockpit ready and the masks. Putting the gun sight in, putting the canopy on, open or closed, however you want to display it. Getting the prop or propeller ready, the radio antenna. And this is a stencil de decals placement, if you wish to use them. Um, and more stencil decal placement. So there you go guys, that's the 148 scale Supermarine Spitfire Mark 1 by Tamiya 2018 kit, new release, new sprue, should go together pretty well. <laughs>